Right, good evening, fifth graders. Tonight we're going to be converting fractions to percents, percents with meaning, okay? And what I mean by this, we're going to be having some understanding while we're doing it, okay, with some purpose. A lot of times when you take a test, you get a percentage, right? And a lot, of, a lot of times you don't understand where the percentage comes from. And what I'm going to be showing you is how I give you that percent on your on your math test or how you get a grade at the end of the quarter um, or a midterm, okay? First of all, we say, if the test had 100 questions, Allison answered 80 or 80 over 100 questions correctly. Allison answered 80 out of every 100 questions correctly for, or for every 100 questions, Allison answered 80 correctly. How many questions did Allison answer correctly if there were 50 questions? Okay, and this is how I want you to kind of do this. If there's 50 questions, so she answered 80 over 100, correct, right? If there's 50 questions, so 50 would be the denominator, how many did she answer correctly? Do you see how we're doing this now? Well, how does 100 get to 50, okay? We're gonna divide by two. 80 divided by two would give me 40. See, in this case, you can divide. I didn't have to simplify 80 over 100. I will show you in the future here why you might have to do that. So how many questions did she answer correctly? My answer is 40, does this make sense? 40 is my answer. Let's do another one here. I wanna give you some space here. If there were 10 questions, how many would she have had to answer correctly? Well, she got 80 out of 100 on the test, right? So 80 out of 100. So out of 10 questions, how many did she get right? This is all we're doing. Everything we've been doing since the very first unit of Unit 5 until now, it's all the same stuff. Well, how does 100 get to 10? You're dividing by 10. So 80 divided by 10 gives me 8. She would have to answer eight of them correctly. Now if there's 200 questions, she got 80 over 100 right, but if it's out of 200 questions now, how many did she get correct? Well, you're going times two, times two, 80 times two gives me 160. She would have gotten 160 correct. You see how that works? So when you're saying 80%, 80% would also mean 80 over 100. So right here we're not work with 80% yet, okay? Let's look at this one. Emily spent 18% of the money she earned babysitting last summer on school clothes. So the last question was 80 out of 100, which would be 80%, like I was just saying. 18%. So for every $100 she earned, Emily spent $18 on school clothes. Or Emily spent $18 out of every $100 she earned on school clothes. So if 100 babysitting dollars were earned, 18 of those dollars were spent on school clothes. Emily spent 18 over 100 of her money on school clothes. Is that making sense, kids? So the total is 100 bucks, okay? How much money would Emily have to spend on school if she had earned $200, okay? Just wanna make some more room here. So if we're at 18 over 100, is what she spent. Out of $200, how much would she have spent? 100 times 2, 18 times 2, 18 times 2, 8 times 2 is 16, times 2 plus 1 is 3, $36. What do we got here for an answer? 36. Okay, let's do another one. If she earned $400, okay, so where she's going to go 18 over 100 equals $400. 100 times 4, 18 times 4. So we're going to have to do 18 times 4. A lot of times we have to make sure we keep on doing our work. 8 times 4 is 32. 4 times 1 is 4 plus 3 is 72. Get 72 for an answer here. $72 is what she would have spent. Let's do another one. Out of $50, so let's take a look here. We got 18 out of 100. Now we're going out of 50. So we're not multiplying. Right here we have to divide. We have to get 100 to 50. So divided by 2, 18 divided by 2 gives me 9. $9 is what she would spend out of 50 bucks. There's some more problems here. Lionel 
got 80% of the questions correct on the spelling test. 80% 80 would also mean 80 over 100. I'm always going to show my work down here at the bottom, okay? So for this problem right here, 80 over 100 would be what 80% is, okay? Out of 20 questions, how many did he get correct? Right here, we're going to have to be dividing by 5. 100 divided by 5 gives me 20. 80 divided by 5 gives me a number. Well, I'm going to show you how I can make this even easier. Because over here on the side, I have to go 80 divided by 5. 5 goes in 8 once. 5, I'm going to subtract. You see the long going here. Long division. Okay. 16. 16 is the answer. I'm going to show you a quicker, faster way. Watch how quick this is. So we have 80 over 100, right? Equals blank into 20. What if I were to take 80 over 100 and reduce it? What if I were to take 80 over 100 and make it smaller? Let's if I divide each of these by 10. So I get 8 out of 10. Now I'm going to write this as 8 out of 10 equals out of 20 times 2 times 2 gives me 16. 16 is my answer. Do you see what I did? I'm going to be showing you this reducing method here because all you're doing is making the fraction smaller. It's the, it equals the same thing, you're just making it smaller. You're going to have to do that a little bit here today. And I'll show you another reason why. Okay? This next problem, let's take a look at it. Jamie spent 50% of the money on his baseball cap. So 50 out of 100 on his baseball cap. The cap cost him 15 bucks. How much was the total? So how much was the whole? In this case right here is a perfect example. 50 can't go into 15. You see how we're going to have a hard time dividing 50 into 15? We're going to be dealing with some decimals here. So what if we were to do this? If I would take 50 over 100 and divide them both by 10 and end with 5 over 10. So now I have 5 over 10. Wouldn't that be the same thing as 50 over 100? It's still half. I could make it even smaller, couldn't I? 5 over 10, so we're going times 3, times 3, equals 30. What if I were to take 5 over 10 and make this half? Equals 15. Well, we'd go in times 15, times 15, I would still get 30. Is, that, is this making sense, kids? So I might have to sometimes work with that 50 over 100 and might have to reduce it when converting the fractions over, okay? Anyways, to answer the question, if $15 is half, the whole would be 30 bucks. Let's look at this last one here. Maybe we get to convert some fractions again. Hunter got 75% of the questions correct on the music test. 75 out of 100 correct. If you got 15 questions correct, how many were on the test? Here's another example. 75 is a tough number to get into 15. But 75 and 100, 75 over 100, if we can reduce that down, we might be able to make this problem easier. If I'm thinking money, 75 and 100, let's think quarters. How many quarters equals 75 cents? Three quarters. I'm going to divide 75 by 25, and I'm going to get three. I'm going to divide 100 by 25, and I'm going to get four. What if I were to rewrite this fraction as 3 fourths equals 15 over a number? 3 can go into 15, kids. 3 times 5 equals 15. 4 times 5 equals 20. I'm going to read the question again. If he got 15 questions correct, how many questions were on the test? 20 questions were on the test. You see how I did that? I want you to take a look at this, and I'm going to use a green... Um, Marker to help me out, I'm going to help you explain this, okay? First of all, we have 75% of the questions, which is this fraction right here. And then I have to write this fraction right here. I'm trying to find this part. But 75 can't go into 15 easily. But I do know I can reduce 75 and 100 down. Because 25 can go into each one of these. I could have divided them both by 5 as well, okay? But let's just go with the 25. I end up with 3 fourths. Now I rewrite this fraction there. 3 fourths equals 15 questions out of how many? 3 times 5, 4 times 5 is 20. 
Hopefully this helps a little bit. Tomorrow, obviously, I'll be walking around the room helping you out on your, um, on your assignment. I want you to take your time tomorrow and really make sense of what these um, fractions and decimals mean in your work and percents. Good luck.